Welcome to Motorbrix. This time we'll talk again about Lego train automation. In the last video uh, we have discussed a little bit the uh, matter of uh, improving the sensors on our uh, Lego train layout. Uh, I showed how to build this little read sensors and uh, since then I really got a lot of uh, feedback uh, on YouTube and on other uh, social media channels from uh, my cherished uh, viewers and users. Uh, and uh, I would like to show you one improvement uh, of the sensors that uh, is really uh, interesting and might be important uh, to you. Uh, the sensors are working really uh, great as you can see in the last video, uh, but we did manage to uh, actually trigger the sensor with, with uh, the coupling magnets here. And uh, now we have found out a way how to do it because uh, it's, it's uh, pretty simple. You just uh, take the sensor and you turn it around by 90 degrees and put it on the track again. Probably a little bit to the outside of the curve because the couplings magnet of the local wagons will also swivel a little bit to the outside. Uh, let us have a look uh, how that uh, works. Uh, I'm just getting the V200 here. Okay, stop. What I'm trying to do now is to go with a coupling with a couplings magnet over the sensor. If we do that, we'll see that nothing is happening. This is because the magnetic field of the couplings magnet is somewhere in any direction we don't know, because as you know the magnet is movable inside the uh, plastic holder. And to control that and to bring it in a defined uh, direction, we can use a little uh, neodyme magnet and attach it on the couplings magnet. And if we do that and then approach the sensor, you will see that the sensor is actually triggered and working. So. Uh, if we continue a little bit along the train, you will see that the uh, engine of the train, the train motor, does not trigger the sensor anymore. It's because of the change direction of the magnetic field. It also doesn't work when we power up the engine a little bit and go over it. Sensor is not triggered as you see, nothing is happening. But what we can do is uh, to go a little bit further and when we are here uh, in the area of the uh, couplings magnet of the loco and the first wagon, this will actually trigger the sensor. That is working. So here we have a really nice uh, option that you can also use if you don't want to um, integrate some additional magnets into your trains. Just use the couplings magnets, but as I have showed you, you need to attach an additional magnet here on the first magnet uh, that this is working. So that's an option for you. You can uh, use it or not. It's absolutely uh, on your own decision. Okay. So, let's bring the V200 back into its original position. Come on. Here we go. And one more block. And here we are. Beautiful. And that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Check the matzobricks.com website for more detailed information and all the wiring diagrams and the software. And I would also uh, recommend that you subscribe to my YouTube channel just uh, below the video here. There should be a subscribe button. 
and also visit my uh, Facebook profile, Matzo Bricks, uh, and uh, click on the like button. Then you get all the news and updates regarding our Lego train automation uh, projects. And because this year we want to build a really large layout and I will also cover it uh, on YouTube and on Facebook. So thanks for watching, stay tuned and well, now as a, as a nice uh, closing I will just uh, run some trains. Thanks and uh, see you next time.